morning. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to syringe feed a difficult chin or a chin that's never been syringe, syringe fed before. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use Squishy because I've never fed her before and I need to train her. Um, I've only just woken up, so you're going to have to excuse the state of me. Now, first things first, you've got your chinchilla. I've got three pre-filled two millimeter syringes. These are a really good size because you want to get the syringe into the corner of the mouth and stick it as far back into the chin's mouth as possible so they don't spit it out. Um, I've also got some tissues at the ready because the first few times you do it, it can get a bit messy. Um, added to that, I have a charming one pound shop throw which Marlon sent us. Now this is a really good size, stay there squish, it's a really good size, that's folded into four. So it's nice and thick but it's not too thick because it's a cheap one. Um, thank you Marlon. So I'm going to, I'm going to be wrapping the chin into the middle of this this is going to go around the chin like this and then I'm going to fold the underneath under and it's all got to be done very very tightly because the animal is going to wriggle a lot and they wriggle back into it so you need the fleece folded under the bum so to start off with I'm going to get my chin I'm just going to hold her here like this I'm going to get the middle of the the fleece put it just over her head. Okay, so that's like that. And then you bring your hands around like this. So it's as tight as possible. The animal is like that, like a ferita. Then you bring it across your chest. You wrap it round tightly and you bring the bottom up. Okay. So now you've got your animal looking like this. Onto your chest again and you bring the neck this bit in and you hold it with your hands like this as tight as possible. I'm probably going to have to turn around now so you can actually see me feeding. And this, I don't know if you've got too much light there. Um, so she's wriggling already, she doesn't really like it. Don't expect them to like it. Um, you're just trying to get food into them and they'll feel better after they're fed. So, you know, oh God, what have I done? Oh, I don't want help. Right, um, you, you're just aiming to get food into them. If they're wriggling, if they don't like it, it's kind of tough because it's a, it's not a cruel to be kind, it's a, this has got to be done. So, um, Make sure you get the whiskers out. You don't want to be pulling their whiskers. So get the whiskers out. And now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you actually feeding. So I might need to wriggle the laptop a bit. Um, let's just see how we're going with it. I'm just going to pop her on my knee. Yeah, you can see that. I'm just going to pop her on my knee. And I'm going to get her whiskers out. So I'm not pulling her whiskers. You can see her quite well there. She's been a very good girl. So, because her bum's on my knee, she can't wriggle back. And then I'm going to get this syringe and I'm going to put it into the side of the mouth. Oh, she's such a good girl. Pop it into the side of the mouth. She's so like, right, now this is what you expect to see, the wriggling. So she's trying to wriggle back. She's like, what, what are you doing to me? So you just grab them under the bum again. No, no, and pull everything closer and no wriggling. No wriggling, so she's a good girl. We've just got to get this food into you. She's like, no, what are you doing to me? So you just keep pushing back until you get it into the mouth there. So I've got a bit on her. That's what my tissues are for. Good girl, squishy. Don't worry if it's a bit messy, as long as you're getting it into the mouth. 
Give them a little while to chew. You'll see the tongue. You'll see them chewing. I'm trying to push my hand away there. I'm trying to push her, the syringe away with her hand there. But we're still getting food into her. It's not going out of her mouth. It's going into her. So, oh. I'm being a bit, I am actually being a bit brutal with her. If I did, it wasn't. So I try and slow down a bit. Because it's going up the side of her mouth. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not much. It's only a little. You're a good girl. Mwah. You're such a good girl. It's not really working trying to be gentle with her. That's why I was doing it the other way. Alright, now she's really had enough. And you just carry on feeding. The chinchilla's got a really big mouth cavity, so you should be able to get one mil in there at a time. But I, I'm going for um, three mouthfuls per syringe. And don't worry about them breathing because they'll just take care of that themselves. They breathe through their nose. The, the trick is to push it right into the mouth. Okay. Last one. You're aiming for 10 mil per feed, but um, if you can just get three in for them to start off with, then you can leave it sort of, you know, four hours. It's going in, and she can have a bath afterwards, you know, with especially with, unless you're nursing a chin with an injury, in which case you want to take the bath, but she can have a bath afterwards and, and get all that off of her mouth. It's not a problem, so don't worry about the mess. When they wriggle again, just it's all about holding the hand under the bum and pushing them forwards again and pushing you. You push the neck back against the bum to keep them in this position. On her hand there. Good girl, we're nearly done, nearly finished and now she's really had enough and she's really wriggling so again I'm pushing back against pushing back against her bum to keep her in this upright position. I know you hate them don't you? And it will be like this the first few times you do it and then they will start to once they get into the drill of having their meds and having their food and feeling better after they've had it they they sort of realize why, why you're doing it and they learn that it's better to relax and take the syringe rather than fighting you um, and then you should be able to get into a situation where they're quite happy to take the syringe and then you can even give them the syringe in the cage because they learn that that's a lot nicer than being wrapped um, and then you can go to giving them balls of rolled up syringe feed um, just with your hand or, or a bowl with softened syringe feed of a spoon uh, Melody had a ceramic spoon because her shins didn't like the metal one. 
um, Melody's the, the dom at Syringe Feeling. She's great. <laughs> so she's she's had about six mil there. Um, I'm not going to give her any more because she's perfectly healthy. But I am going to give her a kiss and tell her what a good girl she is. Such a good girl. Well done. Thank you very much. We feel we're really going to appreciate that. Hate it. All right, I'm going to put her back now. I can't really show you what else to do. Um, it, it's just, it's all about getting them wrapped as firmly as possible and getting that fleece folded underneath the bum and then holding them. You want them like this and under the bum and then you can pull back like that against the bum to keep them in this position. Okay, I'm gonna put it back now. Hetty, what's wrong, are you hungry? Hetty and wants her breakfast, so she's alarming. She hasn't eaten her hay, naughty girl. 